Hey, I'm at Tiny Telephone, and I'm going to have John Vanderslice give us a tour of the studio. Come on out, John. Hi. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day here in San Francisco, and uh, let's go on inside. I'll give you a tour. Yay. This is the main uh, lounge of Tiny Telephone. There's we have Grace on the couch 24-7. <laughs> surfing down here forever. There's Ian. There's Ian in between our little sentry guards. All of the things we need, coffee and tea. And we, we, uh, we used, this used to be just a lounge and then a couple of years ago we figured out it sounded really good so we started putting drum sets in here and uh, just using it as a regular uh, recording room so it allowed us to add another uh, environment into the studio and we put like a mic uh, patch panel and headphone jacks, and we do a lot of tracking in here. It's a really useful room. Here, we'll go into the library. <laughs> we're, we're, this is MTV Cribs, really. So this is the main room, and Ian, go ahead and show them your guitar setup in here. This is uh, one of the amp lockers. I'm using a Fender Bassman. <laughs> and there's a, uh, a Bayer 740 and a, a Josephson side address microphone on the amps. I'll edit this so it will be cool so we can then here's the main room there's the grand piano here and a pump organ I've collected a lot of keyboards over the years and a lot of amplifiers Ooh. There's a Hammond B3 organ and a Wurlitzer. Whirly. But also there's a, uh, a EMT 140 plate reverb down here. Oh. It's a huge eight foot long uh, anodized aluminum plate that has pickups on it and through some unknowable process creates a reverb sound. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, would you open up that door for us? Another amp closet. Looks like a makeout. <laughs> mm. All right, should we go Here, into the? Me out. This is the control room. And really the cen centerpiece of the, of the studio is this Neve console. It's a 5316. It's from 1976. And it was originally made uh, f uh, for the BBC by Neve. And we have tons of outboard gear. Some really old, 40s, 50s stuff, and some ultra new and expensive. And then here's a bunch of tape machines over here. There's a Studer 827. My favorite part. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good thing to have for sure. Cool. And here's an ISO room in here. Uh, this is almost an anechoic room, so it's really good for vocal overdubs. We also use it as an echo chamber, and. Um, it's great for separating a singer uh, from a band for live tracking and also isolating loud amps in here for live tracking so you don't have as much bleed. And there's also a, a really uh, high quality Meyer HD1 speaker in here that we use to reamp vocals and strings and drums and then we re-mic re that uh, that sound in here and it's really oh, incredible. Oh, I didn't know. That's awesome. Yeah, and you'll you'll be doing that in Mixdown. It's incredibly powerful. Wow. It's great. That's cool. So we have really two echo chambers, the front lounge and then this one during mix Mixdown. What's that? Cool. Thank you for touring. <laughs> Tiny telephone. Cool. Yeah. There's Grace again. <laughs>